and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the headlines. State government should take Shah Commission report on illegal mining to its logical conclusion, says Arun Jaitley. Criticizes UPA government for coal block scam, demands SIT inquiry. Father of India's White Revolution, founder of Amul Dairy, Vargis Kurian no more. Nation mourns demise of a visionary. Akshi in Tiswadi undergoing major demographic change, huge migration to Portugal. 6,000 Akshi cars turned Portuguese nationals in past 12 years. A special report. And Goa Cricket Association reverts back land for International Cricket Stadium to government. Shekhar Salkar says several hassles in land conversion forces GCA to request for government land. Now the news in detail. Opposition leader of the Rajya Sabha and senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party Arun Jaitley says that Goa government should take up Shah Commission report on illegal mining in the state to its logical conclusion. Arun Jaitley, who was in Goa, severely criticized UPA government over coal block allotment scam and demanded an inquiry through SIT. Well, the parliament is not in session at the moment. Uh, uh, it, it, it really is now concerned with the state government. But uh, I have no doubt, I'll just add to what the Chief Minister has said, it should be and will be taken to its logical conclusion. Jetley also fears that CBI may be pressurised by his centre since the Prime Minister's office is involved in the alleged coal block scam. Just as in Goa you had a retired judge of the Supreme Court, Justice M.B. Shah who inquired, and he came out with a report which has high credibility. I am afraid the agency acquiring, inquiring into these coal blocks allocation, the CBI, doesn't have that level of credibility. On the con contrary, the fact that the actions of the PMO have to be inquired into and the CBI is directly under the government, its inquiry will never be, its investigation will never have meet the high standards of credibility. Its track record in the recent past has not been inspiring. And therefore, a special investigative team, an SIT, which is completely independent of the government, should inquire into the allocation of these coal blocks. Speaking on the parliament paralysis, Arun Jaitley claims that the session-long protest in the parliament has helped to attract nation's attention to the mega scam. Like the UPA, which has lost all sense of probity and shame. But for the fact that we kept this issue alive for months together, all this would not have been achieved if a one-day debate had taken place and then the PAC had paralyzed. We cleansed up the sector of telecom because of that crisis that we created. I have said in writing, in the, we don't like parliamentary obstructionism, it's a forum for debates. In the rarest of rare cases, obstructionism can bring greater accountability, particularly when the governments become shameless. It happened in 2G and I am sure what has happened now, just as that cleans up the telecom sector, this will clean up the sector relating to allocation of natural resources. A reporter from Panji, Mahesh Ghadi with video journalist Prajot Pednikar. The father of white revolution, V. Korean, who transformed India from a milk deficient country to the world's largest milk producer, passed away early on Sunday after a brief illness. He was 90 and is survived by wife Molly Korean and daughter Nirmala. Our tribute to this great visionary. <laughs> Founder Chairman of the National Dairy Development Board, Kurian led Operation Flood to make India the biggest milk producing nation in the world, besides making Amul Dairy a household name. His professional life was dedicated to empower the Indian farmers through cooperatives. Kurian passed away early on Sunday at around 1.15 am after a brief illness. 
he was admitted at Muljibai Patel Urological Hospital in Nadiad. The cremation took place on Sunday evening. President Pranab Mukherjee and Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh expressed grief at the demise of Korean and hailed him as the one who made enormous contributions to the fields of agriculture, rural development and dairy. Korean enclave. This is my home. This is the place where I belong. On behalf of my party and all my colleagues here, I'd like to express deep condolences uh, on the death of one of the tallest visionaries early this morning, Dr. Korean. There have been very few people of his caliber and uh, vision whose contribution in the field of Operation Flood, uh, the milk production, actually changed the very nature of that commodity in India. He had a fulfilled uh, life. He died at the age of 90. And I think he's uh, one of the tallest Indians of this generation. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Village of Akshi in Tiswadi is witnessing a major demographic change. In past almost 12 years, around 6,000 Akshi cars have become Portuguese nationals. Now, this village just has 3,500 voters down from 9,000. Every month, at least 30 Akshi cars apply for Portuguese nationality. Decrease in local voter population will likely to have a major impact in forthcoming parliament and panchayat elections. Watch Rakesh Kandolkar's special report. Have a look at this picture. One can see long queue of aspirants outside the Portuguese consulate in Panji. Records available with Goa government indicate that for past three years, at least 2,500 Goans have become Portuguese nationals. After becoming Portuguese nationals, these Goans lose voting rights, right to contest election, right to be a state government servant, and so on. Sant Andre constituency has seen largest number of locals opting for Portuguese nationality. In Akshi village itself, demography has changed due to its migration. In this village, there are football grounds but no players to play. There are canoes but no fishermen to venture into sea. There are coconut trees but no toddy tappers. In other villages of Sant Andre constituency like Goavella, Shiridao, Bati, Neura, Aroshi, thousands have migrated after getting Portuguese nationality. Former MLA of Sant Andre, Francis Silvera says, People are opting for Portuguese nationality for better prospects in Europe. He lost 2012 assembly elections by around 1,200 votes. Silvera feels migration of locals had a slight negative impact for him during last poll. <laughs> But Sarpanch of Akshi James Afonso says in next election migration of people will have the major impact as there would be hardly few locals left to vote. Every month, he receives at least 30 applications for a resident certificate that are later used for getting Portuguese nationality. In future, जो कैनेडे लोकल कैनेडे मुन आमी कैनेडे बोसे इता आम चा गाउंच आवस मुनान पुन माका दिस ना त्या कोड़े आर निस्टेन ता अपना ची ओन आस्तली मुनान गाउंच ची लोका ची The trend of Goans opting for Portuguese nationality is not seeing any decline. If this trend continues, then it would have a major impact on elections in constituencies with sizable migration. A special correspondent, Rakesh Kanurkar for Prudent Media. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.